the operating theatres are a really carbon intensive environment um, and about 80% of the carbon footprint of an operating theatre is from its energy use. Certain bits of equipment um, which are the anaesthetists we have a bit more um, sort of control of um, and one particular aspect of some of the way we use anaesthetics is we use something called anaesthetic scavenging. Uh, the scavenging systems are a series of pumps which remove harmful anaesthetic gases from the um, theatre environment um, but they're highly energy intensive um, so we're looking to minimise their use where they're not necessary. Estimate probably the savings across the trust would be around in about 40 to 50 thousand pounds if we were to shut off all unnecessary scavenging out of hours and that's also equivalent to about 40 tonnes of CO2 and that's annually with the current kind of energy bills and that number is likely to potentially increase going forward. We started looking at the other uses of energy within the theatre, so simple things like our anaesthetic machines for example, are they being turned off out of hours? Computers, um, other bits of equipment that might be left on plugged in that actually don't need, doesn't need to be plugged in. The things that can be looked at to try and reduce the energy consumption within the theatres when it's not needed to be used. Obviously sustainability is becoming far more of an issue. And I think the average person has more concerns about the environment than they probably did 50 years ago. So we're looking at this on several levels. First of all, to try and reduce the unnecessary environmental impact of healthcare, whilst accepting there is a lot that needs to be done to help um, provide the best possible care. Um, but also to spend our money responsibly as well. We're both anaesthetists, um, we work largely in the theatre environment, and, um, but what we don't know so much about is where the kind of wasteful places are in the rest of the hospital um, and also in other kind of businesses and other industries. And so by having other people aware and involved, they might be able to look at their own area and help make some of the same savings that we're trying to do here. I think we're all at home now, especially with the prices of energy. I think most people are going around and making sure things are switched off, making sure you don't need your TV on standby, that sort of thing. So if we can do that in the workplace as well, then hopefully there'll be the savings to be made. We absolutely have to work together as a team um, to make, make, you know, make those changes, to make certainly greener healthcare within Wales.